Read BBS, BBS, Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts, UFC 250, 250, Amanda Nunez versus Felicia Spencer. Nunez, of course, greatest women's mixed martial artist of all time, reigning bantamweight and featherweight UFC champion of the world. And Amanda Nunez does what Amanda Nunez do. She whoops ass. Felicia Spencer, tough broad, respect to her. But my girl took a 25 minute ass whooping. That was a glorified sparring session and I'm hard pressed to think of a more one-sided five round fight that I've ever seen. Nunez was better athletically. She was better technically. She was faster, stronger. She was better standing, and she was better on the ground. Uh, simple as this, it was woman against girl. The story of the night, the story of UFC 250 was the bantamweight men's division. Title was of course vacated by another double champ, champ champ, Henry Cejudo. So on this car we had three fights, six men all vying for a shot on the same fucking card, and they showed up and showed out. Sugar Sean O'Malley. So Eddie Wineland was supposed to be O'Malley's toughest opponent to date. O'Malley starts to fight, maintaining distance. He's processing, familiarizing himself with Wineland's timing. My man was throwing some half-hearted Guillermo Rigondeaux styled arm punches, just gauging reaction and distance and whatnot. Next thing you know, O'Malley fires a fake right uppercut. Wineland bites on the feint, and boom! O'Malley turns the uppercut into a clean fight ending overhand right. Walk off KO, just like that. I like O'Malley, man, I like him, he's quirky. My man's fro game is on point. Fro game for show. Uh, his, his fight night braids are dope also. I'm liking his flavor, man. I'm digging the scarves, the glasses, the rainbow flavored hair. And this ain't no Takashi 6 9 ass shit either. Sugar Sean O'Malley is real. He can fight. 12 and 0, 8 KOs all in the first fucking round. Shit. <laughs> Al Jermaine Sterling, Aljo, versus Corey Sanhagen. That was supposed to be the most competitive fight on the card. Number two contender versus number four contender. Sanhagen undefeated in UFC. So, of course, Sterling immediately forces Sanhagen to give ground. Got him to the cage, took his back, and then the Funk Master flexed his way to a rear naked choke win in a minute, 28 seconds. Literally, Sandhagen went to sleep just after the fight was stopped. Cody Garbrandt, my man said, hold up, wait. Three straight losses, all by KO, so Garbrandt desperately needed a win here. And it's no easy feat versus Rafael the Sun Sound. Naturally, Garbrandt, he was tentative. Two of his three KO losses were in the first round, so he's just trying to get out the first round. He was understandably cautious. But you could literally see his confidence resurfacing by mid-round two, and that Cody Garbrandt swag was back. And then, good God, end of the second round, Cody's back is to the cage. He dips real low to his right, and he absolutely drills the Sun Sal with a sweeping, crushing-ass right hook. Timber! Down goes the sun south. My man was so fucked up, he nearly fell off his stale like several moments after the fight was already over. Like I said, man, great night of action. The Bantamweight division put mixed martial arts on notice. Don't sleep on these little guys, or you might get slept. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.